SpaceX is having a little bit of trouble with their Falcon 9 rocket. This is a Crew Dragon rocket. This is going to be for Crew 5. And SpaceX kind of had a little snafu on their way to Texas from Hawthorne, California. Now, that's a 20-hour drive. So that's a pretty far distance to be carrying a gigantic rocket, one of these rockets that will send people to the International Space Station in September uh, 29th of 2022. Now, on the way from Hawthorne, California to uh, McGregor, Texas, the rocket was damaged during transport, and it occurred when it struck a bridge near Van Horn, Texas. They have made this trek a multitude of times, but if you think about it, the duration of these uh, of these drives and also how many times they transport rockets, it was about time for something like this to happen. There's an accident that happens every once in a while with everybody's car, everybody's vehicle, but if you're transporting gigantic rockets for over 20 hours, something like this is about was bound to happen. Now, SpaceX and NASA are also working to fix this issue. SpaceX is removing and replacing the interstage of the rocket and they'll be testing this again at McGregor, Texas. They're going to be doing load, shock, and structural analysis with NASA, and there will be X-ray inspections done as well. They're also going to be doing some onboard instrumentation and some more hardware on the uh, vehicle, but after all that is done, they're gonna be transporting it to McGregor. NASA, SpaceX will check it out, and then from there, they'll take it down to the Cape They'll take it to their facility where they'll mate the Crew Dragon on top of the Falcon 9, raise it up on the pad, then they will launch the crew of Crew 5 to the International Space Station September 29th, 2022, if all goes well. I'm partnering with HelloFresh for this episode because I actually use it. They deliver ingredients to make food directly to your home and it's all healthy and it's all from the u.s and it's all delivered to your home fresh within a week that it's been processed and picked for you so all this food comes to your house right it's all pre-proportioned out it's in a box it shows up it's on your front door you get it out of the box you put it on your countertop you cut it up you got to do whatever you got to do you got to prepare it but then you have these really amazing healthy breakfast, lunch, dinner. There's little snacks in there sometimes too. And it's amazing. I love it. So we're partnering with HelloFresh for this episode because I think you should like it too. Because it's amazing. And they have step-by-step -step instructions. It makes it super easy to make these meals. They have all sorts of options from any, anything from uh, vegetarian, vegan, pescatarian, everything under the sun, fit and healthy. So we got this deal for you. You can use my link or go to HelloFresh.com. I got to look at this code because it's a weird one. P-O-G-S-E. I'm going to put it on the screen. P-O-G-S-E-12908. You'll get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts over seven HelloFresh boxes. Gifts include free appetizers, free desserts, and free premium recipes. So you might as well check it out, right? Use the code. This is the weird one. I'm going to put it on the screen. P-O-G-S-E-12908 at HelloFresh.com when you check out and you get that great deal. Thanks for checking out. Thanks for helping out, HelloFresh. You're amazing. I use your stuff and it's super good. Okay, so let's switch gears a little bit. I want to show you something funny that Elon Musk posted on his Twitter account because he has some zingers and I find this one uh, absolutely incredibly funny. So here we go. Let's check it out. There's a picture of Elon from when he, <laughs> when he was boating and swimming uh, a little bit ago. And he's on the left, of course. And there is a dog on the right with a similar physical build. Now... As you can see, uh, they have a kind of bulging chest and stomach area, that whole area, and then they're kind of slim in the uh, the bottom area. They got a they got a uh, not skip leg day, so to speak. So Elon tweets after this, which really got me. My calves are bigger though. <laughs> but look at the comparison. Look at the comparison of these two. Elon is uh, you know it's like pretty barrel chested. You know, just like that dog. 
<laughs> but if you look at the calves, he's absolutely right. That dog has no calves. And they both have a very similar bigger upper body. <laughs> so whatever this dog is, whatever this dog breed is, let me know in the comments what the dog breed is. Now let's switch over to Starbase a little bit. Now, there are some road closures coming up for the next few days, but we don't know exactly what those are for. Now, Starship uh, 24, Ship 24, if you will, is at the pad and continues to be worked on for the orbital flight test in the next few months, if all goes well. Booster 7, still in the bay. We've seen them remove some engines from there, but we've also seen Raptor 2s being delivered to the production site. Now let's take a look at those road closures real quick, just so we can see what the testing schedule is going to be like. July 25th, today, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Possible closure. Tuesday, the same thing. Wednesday, the same thing. So we have three days of this week with possible closures for the roads. Highway 4 to SpaceX's Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas. Now, what could this be? Could this be another spin prime test for the um, ship? Or could we be seeing Booster 7 come back to the pad? We don't really have views inside of the high bay. It's really hard to get those shots. So you have to kind of go down the road a little bit. You have to like get up on top of, uh, on top of the side of a, a mound on the side of the road. And also there's a lot of ants down there. So one time I was down there on the side of the road and I actually got attacked by a bunch of ants. <laughs> so ants all over my feet. So that being said, um, it's, a, it's a difficult area to be in, but also getting those shots of underneath the, ra or underneath the, um, the booster with the raptors under there, those are really hard to get. So we don't know exactly what's going on with Starship's Booster 7 at this point. So we don't know how much time we have before Booster 7 moves back down to the launch facility. Now, when it does, they're going to have to probably go through all the tests again. That's what I'm assuming. We could possibly see another pressure test. We could possibly see another cryo test just to make sure all the plumbing works. Because that explosion, even though they test everything internally, they test it in the bay. They may have to go through those tests again just to make sure everything works properly before they test this for a stack. And then uh, ultimately they will get the orbital flight test sometime later this summer or this fall. Um, I'm hoping possibly September of this year, but it could be a little bit later than that. So we have, like I said before, road closures for the next three days, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of this uh, of this week. So expect anything from down at Starbase. We could also get another either a pressure test or something with 7.1. It's kind of a like a tin can looking thing. So we could get a pressure test there. They could be moving some equipment around. You never know what SpaceX could be doing down there at Starbase. So stay tuned because I'll have more information about that as it comes in and make sure to tune in for new Falcon 9 news any SpaceX news, any Elon news, and also make sure to subscribe to the show. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate your time. Take care, and I'll see you next time on the Space News Pod.